Hi, my name is Aluya. I'm the current interim matron for the Women's Secure Blended Service here in Ardenay. I enjoy the validation that I get when I come here. It's really, really a happy place to work. Um, of all the jobs I've done, I could say this is the happiest I've been. I really enjoy working with the client group and the way we're able to co-produce care. It's something that really, really draws me to continue working here. So being compassionate is an attribute that enables me to um, connect with my service users and being able to empathize and support them through difficulty. And I think it's important for every person that works in healthcare to be able to connect compassionately with our service users. <laughs> I was actually looking for who nominated me just to make the person ask the person why did you do this to me. I felt embarrassed because I, I, I didn't really realize, I didn't really think that I needed to be validated in that way but at the same time I'm quite happy that I have been noticed. Overwhelming feeling of embarrassment I have to say. <laughs> I would like to say to the person that nominated me, thank you for validating and nominating me. It means a lot. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a commissioning support manager with the Mental Health Provider Collaborative Team. I've been in my current post since autumn 2017, uh, but I actually started my NHS career back about 25 years ago, working on the reception desk of what was then the South Birmingham Mental Health Trust. Now compassion for me is a little bit more than empathy, it's about proactive listening, really listening and reflecting on whether there's anything that you can do to support that person and their own agency to manage whatever it is that they're going through. So compassion is core to how I choose to work, being approachable and trying to look out for the well-being of others wherever I can. What I love most about my role is the people that I work with. And in my time in the NHS, I've had the privilege of working with some amazing people, including some exceptional line managers who've role modelled for me what compassionate leadership is. And observing them and learning from them, it's uh, really impacted me and the working style that I try to employ now. I was completely surprised when I got the email to say I'd been shortlisted. I had no knowledge of the nomination at all um, and I, did, I really wasn't expecting it. I would like to thank the person who nominated me. Um, it's really meant a lot to me that they took the time and effort to submit the nomination. Um, I would also like to thank them for the compassion that they show to me and others. Um, and it's a pleasure to work with them. Yeah, my name is Faiz. I'm an advanced nurse practitioner working in older adults based at South Sector of the Birmingham Trust uh, at Juniper Centre. I retired from the NHS in 2004 and I came back part-time as a community psychiatric nurse doing clinical work because before I retired I was a manager. And then in 2016, I decided to do my nurse prescribing degree, and which I completed. And since then, I've been working as an advanced nurse practitioner. I always thought, you know, over the years, being compassionate is being treated like how would you like to be treated? How would you like your parents to be treated? But it's, it's a listening to people. To me, one of the key roles of, of a nurse, of any clinician, is to be a good listener. But by listening to people, you make them think you're with them. Uh, you're, you're empathizing with them, and hence the compassionate, you know, and you're genuinely with them. So yes, um, uh, when I heard I've been nominated by uh, my manager, Adrian, I felt very proud and very honored. I mean, it's nice to be, to be appreciated, nice to know somebody genuinely appreciate what, what, what you're doing. So uh, yes, I, I'd like to thank him for that, and, uh, and I know it was genuine. Uh, Adrian just did it genuinely. You know, and felt perhaps I deserve to be nominated. <laughs>